Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new Sniffer video and today I've seen a lot of your comments about from the previous video that I made about just a year ago or so and uh, this is going to be an updated version of how to get shaders into Minecraft without Optifine so I am going to show you why in the first place why your Oculus wasn't working or Minecraft kept crashing because of a certain mod that I didn't know about until recent well I didn't know about until like a while ago i've been wanting to make this video for a while but i never got the chance to do it so but anyways i'm going to show you what happens whenever you download the um, mod that i had showed you in the previous in the video about how to make how to get shaders to minecraft so i'm going to show you guys why it crashes because it's a certain mod so you do oculus and well install that and then you also install in not Nvidia, rudium now, Rudium does not work anymore. It, it don't use in in Rudium anymore because it will crash. Your game will crash because it does not work anymore. I will show you what would happen. So I'm gonna bring Minecraft to this screen real quick. It's gonna crash. So it's gonna crash for me. So just I'm gonna show you. And just like that, uh, Minecraft just crashed for me. Basically, this will happen if you tried using um, using Rudium. So don't use Rudium anymore. Instead, use a different mod, which I probably just just showed you anyway, because I always use this now. I started using this now, but here's a few reasons why uh, you shouldn't probably use the Forge mod loader because these two only this mod only goes up to. 1.20.1 it does not go to the new versions of minecraft uh you would have to use a different mod loader like neo forge or fabric any of those two if you want to get the newer shaders i'll show you how to get those in just a second but i'm just going to show you how you can get shaders for just regular forge for 1.20 this also works for anything below for anything oculus and below so basically 1.20.1 1.20 1.19 1.18 1.16.5 those the only ones work Embedium does work for like i guess for any of the new versions but Embedium is updated to that point but this isn't updated to that point so that's what i'm trying to let you guys know i believe you can use Embedium for fabric and neo force as well if you want to use Embedium for those but uh would you just use Embedium for forge and then use a different version like sodium for neo forge or fabric because sodium works better with that but anyways i'm gonna press play real quick i don't know what's wrong with my voice my voice feels a bit weird today but uh, that's just fine we're just gonna load up minecraft once more and then i'm gonna show you how you can get shaders while that you if you have the curse forge app you don't have to go to the website itself you can just Search up whatever shaders is on here. If the shape, if they don't have like the shader you like, then I guess you would just have to download it and then just import it into your folders. You just have to just press open folders and then just it will have a thing for shaders back. Ow, oh, Minecraft. Okay, thank you, Minecraft. Just yelling in my ear for like. But yeah, if you want to get shaders like from a different website, you can just do that. Open folders and then just drag and drop the shaders in there. Uh, I don't think I have to show you that. Uh, I think some people should know how to drag and drop just full files into shaders, but but that doesn't really matter. If you just want to use some of the shaders on the Curse Forge app, you just click install and then I'm going to install some of these and just to show you. But anyways, we're going to load up Minecraft. I'm going to lower the music because it is so loud. So I do not want to be hearing that. But anyways, let's go to single player. Let's do this creative world real quick. I cannot spell today. Okay. And just create a new world and just wait for it to load now that minecraft is open and because it hasn't crashed yet because you, you uh just because rudium doesn't work properly anymore so just don't use rudium anymore use embedium instead along with Op oculus those two would not crash together but like i said earlier it only works for 1.20.1 there is no new updates for these and uh you would have to probably use a different forge loader if you want to i guess still play minecraft on the same on a newer version and just to use shaders as well but anyways i'm going to show you how you can do it you just go to options video settings 
Medium's right here, so you can change some stuff to mostly for performance quality. So it's a quality of life mod as well. And well, Oculus Switch, you're able to put shaders in. So I am gonna put in complimentary imagine because complimentary imagine really looks nice. And right now it should have been applied, and here we go. See, the sun's right there, nice, nice environment. And this is how you would get, you know, shaders into Minecraft. I mean full screen my game real quick so this is minecraft in its fullest where you can see everything and get a nice view basically this is how you get shaders for just forge and if you only want to use forge and older versions of minecraft i would suggest using embedium for that and oculus since most people like 1.20.1 I, I like it well i like it and older versions of minecraft as well but anyways we're going to show you how you can get the shaders for other version, other mod loaders, and for the new version of Minecraft. So, we're gonna basically it works for a fabric, neoforge, or quilt, uh, sodium, and iris shaders. Iris shaders is the one we're about to use. We're gonna use go up to 1.21.1. .1. I don't know. I like 0.1s. 0.1s are just pretty cool to me, but because 1.20.1 and uh, you can do 1.21. Well, it doesn't matter what version. It works for all versions. But anyways, we do test. And we're gonna be on fabric. So how you know it's on fabric because the whenever it loads in, fabric API is there. So without that fabric version, fabric won't work. So you would need the fabric API. But it will auto install anyway. So anyways, we're gonna look at iris shaders because this is the thing we need. It's gonna install that. And you know how it works because iris shaders now works for not only fabric but kilt and newer forge. And such, and it also works for the new version of Minecraft. It's really updated and it's really good. So, uh, we're also going to install Sodium. We could get Embedium, but I believe Sodium is like the best. Is like the best. Like Sodium is really good for just fabric, quilt, and new forge because it's really good and it works for those versions too. Now we got our shaders. We're gonna just pre-install some shaders before we go in same shaders like before we also should choose some different ones they have a there's a lot wide variety of shaders you can choose from but i like these because these two are cool we may look at some other ones as well i do have a video on some shaders that are for low input computers you can check that video out um but anyways we're gonna press play real quick and load into minecraft i'll see you when it finally loads in this minecraft takes a minute also Minecraft for this version loads a lot faster. Maybe because, you know, it's fabric and it's also a new version of Minecraft. I haven't like tested that theory yet if fabric works really well with these mods or so because it loaded really quickly. Maybe because I don't have a lot of mods in so but that doesn't really matter. We're going to create a new world real quick and I'm going to show you how it's, it's basically the same process that loaded really quickly it's the same process with of uh, of uh, the forge loader and same fabric basically you go to options video setting the the ui is going to be a little bit different shader packs are going to be right here instead of like on the bottom but you can so the same things as well you can change your general quality increase your render distance how your game looks and such a stat i'm not going to go into it but anyways and also basically almost the same thing as oculus but i believe this is a bit much better than oculus because iris shaders is updated to the new version and it doesn't like lag does it like a quick lag it's actually pretty fast so anyways we're gonna go back to the game and look at that we got some nice high quality shaders i do not know which one i had clicked on i clicked on bsl bsl is pretty good pretty good shaders like I said, I do have some sh uh, shaders for low end, low end PCs. I may do a video on some like top 10 shaders you can use. If you want to see something like that, I'll make a video on that. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully this guy, this helps with anything glitches wise, crashes. And make sure to not use uh, Rudium. Use Embedium for Forge and Fabric. You can use Iris shaders and Sodium. And well, Forge version, you use Oculus and Embedium and Fabric, Neo Forge, or Quilt. You can use uh, Sodium and Iris shaders. Those will work for 
but I'll have everything linked in the description so it'll be easier for you guys to look at and if you get confused on which what goes which I'll have that down and if there's still any additional help I'll look at I'll uh, answer you guys comments this time instead of just looking at them and like man I don't know what to do but that doesn't matter but anyways I'll answer you guys comments and hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed today's video make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one Snuffle out.